Okay, my friends, you ready for this? This has been a punched mercury dime. Now, you're not going to believe when I flip this over. This is incredible. Look at that. 1945, making it a last year issue mercury dime. But look at the face. Is that incredible? That is just amazing. I have gotten uh, coin rings before, but never something like this. Wow, isn't that awesome? Howdy guys, Johnny here for Guesser with Fate. And today is October the 19th. And I'm out detecting with Charlie. He's got the Equinox 800. And I'm using the CTX. We both scored silver. He's got the better one though. Check out my find first. Yep, doing some short hunts with my buddy Charlie. We're both going to be going to Florida on the 27th. He's got a place down there in Tequesta, and it's going to be nice and warm. I got my earmuffs on today. It was woke up and it was 36 degrees in Connecticut. Okay, let's get to it. I dug about a 7, 8 inch hole here. Yes, sir. And I said, there's got to be silver down there. And it was turned out to be a dirty rosy. Let's take a look here. There's the edge here. And if we zoom in a little bit, can I see it? I think we have a 52. That's okay. Silver is silver. Happy to get another one. I don't even know what number I'm on because it's low. I haven't been getting out too much, but this is a dirty silver here at a section of the Happy Hunting Ground. Charlie's been killing it. I'm just happy to get this one. Okay, on to the next. Yeah, I'm seeing what I can do today. Still battling all these things. I told you in my last video, the spinal stenosis and such. So I came out here at a different section of the Happy Hunting Ground and I dug this plug. And I confess I already brushed this off. It's a big coin, the size of a half dollar at least, but it's not a coin. Heads I win, tails you lose. <laughs> all right, that is pretty cool. I haven't seen one like this, but that is pretty awesome. Loving it. Alright, I'm going to show you some of Charlie's finds, but he did a change on the Equinox 800. Charlie's become really good with it. Alright, take it away, Charlie. What you do? Yeah, well, basically, I rolled it back from 1.75 version to 1.5. It's more stable, at least in this field, uh, with a lot of iron and uh, more stable VDI. Basically, I actually trying to uh, run with iron audio, which I usually don't. And also, I uh, reactivity, I decreased it to a lower number to see what I can pull out. And I got two decent targets here. One silver mercury dime, and another one's a button. Yeah, take a look here. I think this is a 41 Merc that Charlie got. Both items eight inches down. Eight inches down. General service. Probably could be World War II cuff button. Awesome. Okay, here we go with my next couple of finds. Earlier, I dug this porcelain button right in the center of this D-buckle. Pretty nice. I like finding these. Of course, what was in the hole with it was iron. But this D buckle I don't think is too old. Not bad for a relic. Alright, I got the impact in hand today with the small coil. Charlie loves it. It's a monster, even though that small has gotten some deep signals. Some good targets. 
all right coming over here and I was picking up a uh, uh, 80 to uh, 84 pretty tight signal and I took a look at it and the dirt covered up already but take a look at this where are you there it is popping out look at that looks like we have a locket here Woo! yes indeedy pretty cool I'm gonna see what I can get off of this gonna give it a light brushing see what any details I can get and it looks like it might even be able to open get back with you in a sec well that's what I got off it so far check this other side we have a little stone there I don't think it's probably real but uh, we got some uh, goldish color on there maybe some gold gilt I'm gonna give her an opening here see if I can get it yeah looks like we're gonna have to use two hands well I tried to open it and I think if I open it this might break because it's not even at the spot at the top to open it so I'll try and clean it better when I get home and uh, see what can come of this maybe some better details off it Howdy guys, Johnny here for Guess It Was Fate. You see this house back here, I'm doing this farm field. The gentleman was kind enough to let me detect here and I already got a pretty decent find. Check this one out. Starting with the CTX first today, I got the impact in the car and I was coming in this section right over here near the edge of the grass not too far into this field and I was picking up a nice nickel signal a 12 11 and it was about only four or five inches down and I did brush it off and we have a bent from farm equipment or lawnmower buffalo nickel yes siree ho ho the buffalo there it is on the back nice and red and green huh <laughs> well that property had a lot of stubble from the road it looks like a plowed field I did get that buffalo nickel but I'm at a new location check out this I might have silver in the hole all right give a wave Johnny I'm back to my old stomping grounds and I was coming over here and I was digging about oh a seven inch hole I was getting a 12 41 to 43 pretty deep and repeatable and I scooped it out over here loaded with dirt but that gray color could be silver let's check it out huh I think it's a coin. I think we got us a, a button of sorts. I'm gonna clean it off, find out what we have here. Okay, my friends, you ready for this? Look at this. This has been a punched mercury dime. You can read the beginning of United. States would be there and you see of America okay now you're not gonna believe when I flip this over this is incredible look at that you could see very faintly Liberty at the top 1945 making it a last year issue mercury dime but look at the face is that incredible looks like almost the Statue of Liberty because you could read at the top of her head 
I B E R punching through. <laughs> that is just amazing. I have gotten uh, coin rings before, but never something like this. Wow, isn't that awesome? That's just fantastic. Holy smoke. Yoo-hoo. Silver, no doubt, of a special kind. Yahoo, baby. Still at it with the CTX. Coming over in this area here, and I dug about a seven inch hole because I was getting that clunky 1235 signal. And I was hoping for an Indian. I dug that hole and I scooped out the dirt, putting a pinpointer in the hole all over the place, in the plug, nope. Went to the side, starts ringing. And and here it is. Yes, sir. We got a beautiful engine. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. All right. I oh, I'm gonna clean this up a bit, and we'll get a date. And take a closer look, see. Oh my my! Oh heck yeah! Look at that! Ooh, ooh. 1902. Look at that beautiful green patina on this Indian. Yahoo, baby! Let's take a look at that other side. Yes, sir. Wreath shield, one cent. <laughs> Pretty good Indian for these parts. You know where I am. Psst. Happy hunting ground.